Monday, August 5th, 2024. Jordan Childs is performing as the closing athlete competing in the women's gymnastic floor final in the Paris Olympics. And as the last contestant, the goal is clear. The score to beat, 13.7. Ninety seconds later, Jordan's routine is done, and a couple minutes after that, the score is in. Thirteen seven is the number for third for bronze medal. That's not going to get them. While her original score placed her just shy of the bronze medal, an inquiry was made, and judges reviewed her performance. And after the review, Jordan Childs officially earned her first individual Olympic medal, placing bronze in the women's floor final. These results, they might not say. Then on August 11th, six days after the actual event, the IOC announced that Jordan Childs' bronze medal would be reallocated to Romania's Ana Barbosu. A day later, August 12th, USA Gymnastics announced that the Court of Arbitration for Sport will not reconsider its decision that resulted in the revocation of Jordan Childs' Olympic bronze medal. This decision significantly impacts the U.S. Federation's efforts to overturn the ruling, which removed Childs from the podium nearly a week after the floor final. Childs initially celebrated her third place finish on the podium in Paris, but six days after the event, the International Olympic Committee was telling her to give it back. USA Gymnastics has contested the decision and announced on Sunday that it had formally submitted video evidence to the Court of Arbitration for Sport, asserting that Childs is the rightful third place finisher. However, in a statement on Monday, USA Gymnastics also acknowledged that, under the court's rules, it would not reconsider its previous ruling. USA Gymnastics appealing the IOC's controversial decision. Jamie, this has been such an emotional roller coaster. Make it stop. I know, and it doesn't seem fair to the athletes, right, when this is about judging, but here we are. The controversy revolves around the last minute adjustment to Childs' score, which elevated her from fifth to third place. After Childs' score was initially posted, her coach Cecil Landy filed an inquiry. Upon reevaluation, the judges increased her score by 0.1 points, and as the last athlete to compete, this adjustment placed her in the bronze medal position ahead of Barbosu, and so Childs exited the arena as the bronze medalist. The Romanian Gymnastics Federation subsequently appealed to the Court of Arbitration for Sport, which determined that the inquiry benefiting Childs had been submitted after the one minute. The deadline, thereby invalidating it. The court ruled that Childs' original score should be restored. Consequently, the International Gymnastics Federation adjusted the competition results, moving Childs back to fifth place and Barbosu back to third, and the IOC confirmed that the medal would be redistributed to reflect this change. Now, USA Gymnastics claims to have video evidence showing that Landy requested an inquiry 47 seconds after Childs' score was posted. The organization noted that it did not possess this footage at the time of the court's ruling and therefore could not present it as evidence. However, since CAS will not reopen the case, USA Gymnastics must explore other options as it continues to advocate for Childs' bronze medal. Now, for a moment, let's review the scoring. Brazil's Rebecca Andrade secured the gold medal with an impressive routine, scoring 14.166. U.S. star Simone Biles stepped out of bounds several times but managed to earn a 14.133, which was sufficient for the silver medal. Childs initially received a score of 13.66. As the final competitor, she seemed set to finish in fifth place. Both Barbosu and her fellow Romanian, Sabrina Manisha Voina, scored 13.7, but Barbosu held the advantage due to a higher execution score, which is used to break ties. Now, again, shortly after Childs' score was posted, Landy requested an inquiry, a process that allows coaches to challenge the difficulty score given to their gymnasts. Barbosu had 
already started celebrating when Childs' revised score of 13.766 appeared, moving her into third place. This led to an emotional moment with Childs in tears as she hugged Landy, while Barbosu looked up at the scoreboard in disbelief. And afterward, Andraji, Biles, and Childs received their medals, and on the podium, Biles and Childs bowed to Andraji as a gesture of respect for the Brazilian star. But images from that historic moment are now overshadowed by the subsequent controversy. So, what are the rules when it comes to inquiries? Inquiries are allowed to address errors in the difficulty score of a gymnast's performance, but not in the execution score. Each routine is assigned a difficulty score based on the complexity of the elements performed by the athlete. Judges monitor the skills as the gymnast performs, since athletes do not submit their planned routines beforehand and can make adjustments during the routine. Judges must assess whether each element meets the criteria for credit, which can lead to inquiries. Queries. Coaches can also request judges to review neutral deductions related to routine timing or a gymnast stepping out of bounds. One might wonder, why wouldn't a coach submit an inquiry after each routine? If it would potentially lift their athlete's score, then why not? Well, there are two main reasons inquiries aren't as frequent as you might assume. First, when an inquiry is made, judges review video footage of the routine, which can be risky as scores may increase or decrease following a review. You wouldn't want them to review a routine with a closer view just to find out it went worse than originally scored. And second, if a gymnast score remains the same or decreases after an inquiry, federations are required to make a payment to an FIG foundation. This potential risk and financial cost discourages coaches from submitting inquiries frequently. While occasional inquiries are normal, the dramatic events in Paris were unusual. The last minute change in the outcome occurred because Childs was the final competitor, and the one tenth point increase was sufficient to alter the bronze medal standings. Now, naturally, the next question is why did Jordan Childs' coach file an inquiry in the first place? Childs' routine initially received a difficulty score of 5.8, which was the same score she had in both the qualifying round and the team final. However, her highest possible score is 5.9. Childs initially did not receive credit for her tour jete with the full turn. During the floor final, Chelsea Memel, the technical lead of the US high performance staff and an experienced elite judge, initially thought that she might have deserved the point. And after reviewing the routine, the judges awarded Childs the credit, increasing her difficulty score from a 5.8 to a 5.9. So the score she deserved was the 5.9. But the controversy comes with when the inquiry was made. So the next question is, why does the timing of the inquiry matter? According to the sports rules, an inquiry must be made verbally before the score for the next gymnast is displayed. But if an athlete is the final competitor in a rotation, as was the case with Jordan Childs, the inquiry must be submitted within one minute after their score is shown. Since Childs competed last, Landy had less time than usual to initiate the appeal process. But rules are rules. So did Jordan Childs' coach inquire within the one minute mark? The details seem unclear. The Romanian's appeal to the CAS indicated that Childs' inquiry was submitted one minute and four seconds after receiving the score. The court ruled that the inquiry was indeed filed past the one minute deadline, but it did not explain how it reached this conclusion. Then there's USA Gymnastics, who stated that they have a time-stamped video with evidence showing Landy initially made her request to file an inquiry at the inquiry table 47 seconds after the score was posted, and made a second statement 55 seconds after that score was displayed. However, USA Gymnastics has not released this video. Recent frustration among gymnastics fans has focused on the lack of a visible and transparent timekeeping system from FIG to enforce deadlines in the arena. If Landy did submit the inquiry after the deadline, it should not have been accepted. And had the rules been strictly followed at the time, there would have been no need to retroactively invalidate the inquiry and alter the competition results. A cleaner system would seemingly have the medal awarded to the athlete who certainly deserved it. So who is making these decisions? The Court of Arbitration for Sport, an independent organization that handles athletic disputes, decided that Childs' original score should be reinstated. The International Gymnastics Federation subsequently updated the competition results accordingly. 
but a spokesperson clarified that the reallocation of medals fell under the responsibility of the International Olympic Committee. The IOC then confirmed it would award Barboso a bronze medal and stated that it was coordinating with the U.S. Olympic Committee regarding the return of Childs' medal. But USA Gymnastics announced that it will continue to seek an appeal through the Swiss Federal Tribunal and other channels. It is uncertain when or if these bodies will take any action. USA Gymnastics and the US OPC have strongly supported Childs, maintaining their belief that she rightfully earned the bronze medal. While Jordan Childs hasn't said much in response, the world of sports anxiously awaits the conclusion of this medal drama. Thanks for watching Sports Pantheon.